Welcome into the Big Ten Men's Basketball Preview. I'm your host, Casey Smith, and today I'm going to be breaking down the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Led by Fred Hoiberg just a season ago, they went 10-22 and 22 and 4-16 and 16 in the Big Ten. So far this season, they're riding a hot streak, a three-game winning streak, including a big upset win against Creighton to have a 6-3 uh, and three record this year. Uh, so far, they're not really getting it done on the defensive end, though as their 42.2 opponent field goal percentage and 33.3 opponent field three-point field goal percentage are both second worst in the Big Ten. So they're really letting teams attack the basket. They're able to kick it out, shoot the three, and they're converting at the second worst clip in the Big Ten. And on their end, they're not really shooting free throws well. So that'll come crucial, especially come tournament time in the Big Ten tournament and even down the stretch in the middle of games. Uh, if they're not being able to convert their free throws and they're 337th in the country in that regard. As they continue to reel from the loss of Bryce McGowan's going to the NBA a season ago, they're going to turn to a guy like Derek Walker. He missed the first four games of Nebraska's season, but in his four games back with the team, uh, he's averaged 16.8 points per game, uh, shooting 73.3% from the field. And he's also clearing the glass with nine and a half rebounds per game. So He's been really a guy and a force that they can turn to, and once he gets more time under his belt, he can be one of the more prolific scorers in the Big Ten this season. The Cornhuskers, their outlook, they're sort of reeling a little bit as a program. They're kind of looking at about a 500 season. Anything better than that, though, I feel like Fred Hoiberg will take it. This has been the Lantern Sports Big Ten Men's Basketball Preview for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I'm Casey Smith. Until next time, take care.